I have to agree on that one. They want to play this fast, even though their late game is uh, extremely good. So they battle it out. Uh, this could be Kuku in a bit of trouble. Has to get the TP out of this one. Cancels the TP and starts running himself away. But I think he's just going to get run down here. This Orb of Venom with the cell. Going to keep him alive a little bit longer. But he's used so much here in the top lane that his first blood going to PPD. And he used as 33 really struggling. Only three CS on him, level three. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's not ideal. Even with that uh, kill on a mid lane, Queen of Pain still ahead of Ember Spirit. He's uh, kind of forced to either go for Shrine or they try to pick up uh, the Bounty Runes. Is there a bottle on him? Yes, there is. Yeah, nobody really contesting the Bounty Runes at top. Oh, never mind, actually. Cuckoo is trying to sit on top of it, but Ace has the quicker fingers. That's going to be three Bounty Runes going the way of NIP. Meanwhile, fight down at bottom. Saks are in some trouble. Tims and AU surround him with the Illusion Rune. They'll get that kill onto the Zeus. It's a dead is needed this game against the anti-mage because they going in, don't no have God much strength in the bottom lockdown. lane with the stun. They've even got the chains coming out from the Warlock there to try and uh, hold them back. But there's a Sonic Wave coming through, but they, they won't be able to get anything from this. Maybe, oh, yep, jumps in, but no, Denied. the Denied comes in from BPD and Armel's in some trouble right now. Gabby needs to defend his mid laner, but Fada comes jumping forward. Saxon gets the kill. Armel dies and getting nothing for it. Extremely costly for TNC, but now they're going to the 33 as well. He is in from behind. The Shadow Word comes out. The right clicks from the spend will be enough to bring him down. But Fada just fading up, gets the chains onto two. As Gabby trying to run himself away, but will not be successful with the Lightning Bolt. And now you can, but watch as his teammates. He's such oh, a big Fada. kill. AU, he can't room. really afford to die right now. Where are the TPs? Where is your team, TNC? But they are not looking to save IU right now. Now nice comes in, but dodges it on Fata. AU still being chased. He's trying to get to the tower. He could turn around with a golem, but doesn't want to do so. He knows he needs to find a more valuable use of it. And that tax are going for the TP out, saying, please. Please, please lasso me. Yeah, just Darkeezy uh, put him on the there. Easy. Ah, he's gonna kill him though. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Can you not just leave him there? Like he doesn't have a TP. This might turn into even worse than that. As Cuckoo flying himself away, that right? Firefly is running out, but he's gonna be okay. Email 33 just uh, slowly dying in the trees, but the game comes in with a roar AM on top of him as well. Immediately do they have the damage though? The Mana Void comes out and the Lightning Bolt will finish the job. Saxa gets the kill. BPD wrapping in behind the tower. TNC are looking to respond to this one. NIP are gathered. Meanwhile, the Sonic Wave comes out on the back lines. That's 33 taken down. Gabby looking for more. He wants to try and find they BPD. They kills. get the stun coming out, but immediate purge out. They just need that first initiation. Sven, what does he have? He has a Blink Dagger for himself right now. Anti-mage, this is a good kill if they can grab it. Right on top of him right now, and he's already used the blink as well. Stun comes out, the damage coming through. Can they finish him off in time? Yes, they can. Ace goes down. A really important kill for TNC. The betting still extremely close between these two teams. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, Cuckoo getting burnt down. Fada chasing him, but he's also taking the fires himself. And actually with the lasso Where's coming the out, TP? might be able to bring him down, but no one's coming over because Gabby has actually dealt with Ace. Meanwhile, Fada still on top, and he should get this kill. Cuckoo thought his team would come, but they were dealing with more important things. And look at that style play from Fada as well, just getting back to his own jungle whilst getting that kill. Um, meanwhile, in the jungle here, they've actually found themselves 33, so 33 will be dropping for TNC as well. So two kills for that Batrider right now. Make him a lot more sense <laughs> to me. onto the high ground, but 33 comes in with the roar. The hero's gathering around. They're even going to throw the rock to try and keep Tim's alive in this situation, but it's not going to be enough. Tim's will fall. Now they're jumping in. Nice the double stun by Sven. That's a stun with the VKP with the Sonic Wave ripping through as well, but Ember still on the run. The Yules comes out, though. Can they get the damage off in time? They cannot. Yes, they can. The slide of fist ends, and Arfada is dead. PPD just trying to fight it up with a golem. Meanwhile, looking up towards AU here, but with TNC coming in from behind, they do not want to let AU die in this situation, and they will certainly succeed and keeping him alive. TNC are finding three crits. Yeah, their smoke popped by. They want to get something much, much tastier. Fada in the mid lane could be a good target, but the... Oh, oh nice reactions from Fada, getting himself back up onto the high ground inside the slide of Fist. That was tasty. Meanwhile, they're coming in. Oh, PPD, though, just gets absolutely annihilated. Gates through the uh, borrowed time damage. It, it, it was enough.
Going over the threshold, meanwhile. Uh, Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain. Yules comes out. Tim's comes in with a Varus Strike now going in with the Epicenter as well. Armel blinking himself away just about to survive oh, as well with the Epicenter. Bonds. Waking through. Sax is going to die. Armel as well does go down. As Sparta recommits to this fight. 33, though, he's just getting smacked in the back. Trying to walk up these steps. The Varus Strike comes through. Gabby finds a triple kill. Cuckoo on the back lines. Looking towards Fada, but Fada. Tim, so sitting on the high ground, just going to pop the whole damn smoke. Tim sees them right now. TNC might well take this opportunity. The Hawk comes through. NIP, they're into Roshan, but Tim's, he's immediately in. Burrow Strike onto two, getting himself away, but nice he comes rock. to Golem. Look at the damage coming through the Sonic Wave as well. Ripping through NIP. There's nothing they can do about this. Trying to get up into the high ground. Kuku is chasing. BBD gets left behind. Fada, he's on the run right now. And with these remnants, he should just about be able to make it out of this, but a TP's coming in. Tim's, where is he? He gets it. The Yules is out as well. They actually find him. Fata, it doesn't matter how far you run. TNC will find you and TNC will kill you. They take down everybody except for the Zeus. The racks are being taken. Gabby dropping kind of low just the harass damage. The magical harass coming out is uh, enough to kind of start ticking him away and the Shadow Word is out as well. PPD just throwing in the miss course, sitting on the front lines right now. He doesn't care if you go on him. Oh, he might. He might. <laughs> just gone. No borrowed time for you. And now the Sonic Wave with the Golem coming in once again. 33 is ripped apart, but Ace, he's going for the big kills on the back lines, looking for AU. Meanwhile, they're in deep on the side of TNC, but not too deep. Keeping it gentle. Never mind. Saxer is dead. The Queen of Pages goes in for a, for a huge jump in. Burst back to follow up as well. Tim's just keeping them busy, but might pay with his life here. Armel coming in with the AOE strike and down goes Tim's with PPD dead for a second time. 33 not looking particularly healthy. As Sven gets his ages pop, but in comes the lasso, dragging him back into the respawning Sven. Oh my god, TNC are killing everybody. Making it Cuckoo would be a great target for them. They're jumping on top of him now. Thunder God's Wrath even being used. They're trying to run him down, but he's away. He's just blown off the map. Amel jumping into everybody now. That's a Lincoln's pop. Meanwhile, in comes Gabby. Gabby's found the Beastmaster. 33, the crit comes through. 1,700 damage. Even a Beastmaster can't handle that much, but AO is dead. But PPD falls just so quick to the sword of Gabby. TNC dominating right now. And now the Burrow Strike onto the Zeus should spell an extra kill for them as they get on top of them once again. The three heroes dead with... Yeah, I don't know if Dota Plus believes more than I do. I don't know, P, they're now going for it, but the lasso comes out with a big ABL to the straight away, but it does run off as they jump back in onto this one, turn away as Ace comes forward, looking for AO, that's the power of the Abaddon, but Ace, he's taking some hits here, needs to keep away from Gabby, will be able to do so successfully, Raw that's comes out onto roar. the Sven, they're actually trying to go the kill here, Gabby, he's dropping low, could they actually finish this guy off though, Ace comes in with the mana void and they get the kill onto Gabby, Gabby goes down, a thousand gold in the bucket of fatter, but more importantly, the Sven is dead, and now look to Armel as well, Armel has to jump to the high ground right now, but the epicenter, that's doing a lot of Sonic Wave as well, it's hitting hard, but NIP, do they have the damage to actually finish off as Cuckoo's trying to just fly over them with the fire ace? He's dropping so low here. The constant shield's coming out, but the Burrow Strike, it just blows up too. PPD, Zaxa, they're gone. And ace, surely going to follow the Yule Scepter comes out. Ace trying to blink away up onto the high ground, keeping himself alive for a little bit longer. The counter spells and TNC with the full back, actually. And uh, NIP, they're looking to punish this one. Thunder Gods comes out, they see all these heroes. Counter spell pop by AC, runs himself forward, but the Burrow Strike comes out on Tim, interrupting the mana void. They come into the back lines here, TNC. They're looking for the big kills. In goes Pada, trying to hold them still. 33, still alive for the time being. They get the last two, trying to drag back and finally kill Saxa. They have to focus on this Nimbus, but Gabby's himself is actually dropping pretty low here. Lotus comes out, cheese is eaten. Now turning it around, Anti Mage needs to get himself out of this situation with the epicenter ripping through. The blink from Tim still following on this. Meanwhile, the fear onto the 33 on the back lines will finally secure that death from him. No buyback on the side of 33. Meanwhile, Ace has to come back in and defend the base. Now blinking backwards, just trying to keep himself far, far away as Saxa will be falling for a second time. That's a dieback from him. The Ancient is exposed. This might be the end. Three heroes is not enough to defend against TNC with, but they're certainly going to try. Ace getting stunned up. The choice lies being spammed. TNC, they know this is in the back. PPD going to get hit by a golem as well. Everything just being thrown in right now. AO, he's in the fountain. Why bloody not? The Ancient is going to fall and TNC take a victory. 44 Four minutes in, but they just kept control. The laning phase was very difficult to bring down in these fights. We do have a quick video for you, though. Of course, the Mercedes MVP vote is here. Now, Ace trying to right click them, but they're looking for PPD. PPD will finally land into the fire here. Now, look towards Ace instead, but it's actually the Tabarad who's getting really low. Cuckoo having to fly away. Ace kind of trapped in the flames right now. With that, it pale inside the fire. That oh. is going to be first blood. Beautifully done by Tim's. Nyx Assassin grabs the kill. Creeps to come under the uh, tower and doing a best CS. But Armel getting pretty low here. 33 up onto the high ground. He's leveled up Sprout, getting in the tree. It's, can he get the blocks? They're looking pretty good right now through the trees. Armel on the run. Does he get the right click in? Yes, he does. And that is. First blood going to 33, tearing open this middle lane. 
drag their creep wave back a little bit. So not, not an insane amount of aggression, but this Arcane Rune may be coming in on the mid lane here. Our Melt at level three. Oracle and it's going to be a lot of damage coming through onto this Medusa. And the right clicks will be coming in. 33 grabs another one in the mid lane. Meanwhile, Saxa, he's got those quill sprays. He's got the goo. He's got the damage. And that is going to be killed onto the Sand King. Fada, fine. Meanwhile, a blast thrown across the river. Purging off Saxa from whatever might be. Uh, Tim's actually going for the D-Ward here as they jump in onto Armel. Once again, 33, he's back, and that damage! Goodness me! That's going to be a kill, and now Tim's getting blocked up by the trees. <laughs> They've got the damage, the Spike Carapace comes out, but a Purifying Flames will put an end to this Nick Assassin's life. Because Zora and Nangard actually finished off on the Slark here. Meanwhile, Armel, he's just hit the jungle now. He's bored laning. He doesn't want to do that anymore. We want to last out onto the top lane. They've got themselves a Sand King. Dragging him back, but he gets the burst strike about two centimeters away, but it's out of the flames, but it's not out of the right oh, click. Cuckoo Sentry. does connect. Just, I'm getting the same feeling as in the previous uh, game where... He's in the whole way. Nice Shadow Blade's now run out. Cuckoo's trying to get on top, but a beautiful burst strike from Sax is going to hold them out for the time being. That's three battery roots going to NIP. They're up onto the high ground. Now the lasso comes out. PPD can't get in range for the False Promise. There he finally gets himself in. Saxa, he's counting up the epicenter. He wants to help his team fight this one as a burst strike onto the high ground. Meanwhile, PPD already dead. Doesn't look like there's any saving for Saxa either, so it does just end up two heroes going down for that one. Get them to respond to him. He's just an attention. Grabber. Meanwhile, Lasso does actually come out. They've managed to get the Nature's Prophet here. And this should be a kill. 33 is going to go down. It's a fair bounty going away off uh, the team. for a run in the mid lane as well. TNC, they're all set up here, but they're going to try and TP into the shrine and go for something here. But Tim, oh, he found we'll Warlock. See, but, oh, yeah, this is a huge target. He's going to have to throw down the stun immediately. A Slark is able to rip through the wall. His defenses. Let's get off that kill to golf ring. And now Armel going for the TP. Yeah, but Saks are in with a stun. Beautiful Burrow Strike immediately getting lassoed up. There is not going to be any save coming in from him anytime soon. BBD trying to close the gap, but can't cast the spell quite in time. What's been animation? Actually, Gabby just comes in from behind and murders him. He's dead, but they get the kill into the Armel. And now they look forward onto 33. 33 with the trees, with the TPs. Will be able to get himself okay, but Fada. He's just chasing forward right now. He's got Naganim Zepter and he is not afraid to use it. But in comes the Impale from Tim to so just keep him back for the time being. But 33 is back in. He's got that Sprout. Fada with the Ghost coming in as well. Ace at the Shadow Blade. Come and get back into the fight. And Tim's will be taken down. Ace, he wasn't looking for anybody else though. So he's, they're, they're just coming. And NIP, they've uh, come, basically turned up to one fight so far. I need that voice line. You know what's cooking, boom, when I'm playing yeah. techies. Yeah, yeah, you, you throw it mid, mid air. Meanwhile, they've got the Yules out, but Fada could be the one in some serious trouble right now. The ghost slowing them down, but not a whole lot. And not enough life steal either, even with the life drain coming in. Oh, never mind. Okay, there's a false promise Very coming in, but they just throw down the oil golem coming down. PPD trying to run himself away, but he's not going to be lasting much longer. Meanwhile, Fada, he does actually get healed up by all of this. They thought he was dead, so they turned their backs on him, but Fada going for the TP out. There is too much damage coming through, though, and Armel will finish him off with a few right clicks. Meanwhile, Cuckoo finds Saxa. Another solo kill, Cuckoo! The, I'm more PC these days. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, you're rubbing off on me. Bottom tower is starting to fall. Cuckoo on the hunt. He's looking on the back lines That's here. That's buyback. Suddenly he is 33, getting back into this fight. Ace has the BKB going, looking for Armel right now. The Mantis comes out from Armel, but he still cuts through. The Epicenter ripping through as well. No one seems to be dropping right now. As A will successfully TP out. Ace, though, he is falling low, and he gets turned into stone inside that ultimate sack that has fallen. And now that Ace still looking into more. He's managing to get himself about 13 Essence Shifts, but it's not really enough for them to actually take this fight. The Ghost is doing a fair amount of work, and TNC will be forced out for the time being. But they're the ones who got a kill into the Epicenter and into the Ghosts, and now they're just coming straight back in again here. Medusa not really scared about still this right now. Still has Aegis. Still has the Aegis, still running forwards, and there's a Fatal Bonds coming out as well. They've got to be careful about this. Fada, he's taking too much damage. The healing from the Ghost is actually hurting his team right now, but Yules will purge it off. So he's basically saying, I'm going to die. Might as well get rid of this uh, buff so I don't kill my team as well. Meanwhile, Medusa will eventually fall. Cuckoo, though, on top of Fada right now, and Medusa is back with that Eye of Scatty. Fada gets blown up. PPD as well. He's going to have to use a False Promise onto himself. Ace jumping away from this one. It doesn't look like a way for Slark to actually get in and maintain his damage inside of these fights. PPD implodes from all of that damage from Gabby right there because they need to stay alert for as long as possible due to this time coefficient. They know this. The burst strike comes through here. Ace jumping in onto Armel, trying to blow down this producer as quickly as possible with that BKB coming in. He's just stealing stats. It's a lot of stacks. Stealing stats. He's getting shift. bigger and bigger. But unfortunately, he's still just not doing enough. But finally, the ultimate comes out. 49, 50, still going. And Armel is actually going to drop here. Ace is doing something at least. PPD just trying to keep himself alive. So 
so that he can help out Ace. Meanwhile, Kuko on the back lines finds a kill onto Saxa, but Ace, he's getting a little bigger and bigger. He's still, still just eating through these heroes. Gabby going for the TP out, and the Yules is going to make sure that is safely done. went around the quip, so I'm going to throw in an extra couple of ghosts here, slow them down, heal up the Medusa. Uh, sorry, heal up the Death Prophet a little bit further, but it's just TNC going to town. Now Saxa is back, Burrow strikes through into two, and just as quickly as he came back into the fight, he is just completely dead again. TNC, they will take the barracks. Mega Creeps now belong to TNC. They keep on going though. Fada trying to get back to the base right now. He's rocking the slow, slow run as Fada, Ace, PPD, they're all taken down. 33 inside the fountain, just holding on for as long as possible here. Sark controlled up and finished off. Gabi is godlike and they are into the fountain right now. And there's the GG being called by PPD. The game is over. NIP lose 2-0 to TNC. What a nice performance by TNC. I underestimated the, them and their draft. It feels like...